Hello, this is Rick. I wanted to show you how to remove and replace a staple in a comic book. And the way I like to do it is with the minimum of scratches showing on the staple, especially if the staple has developed a patina, as, as many of them have, and they're not shiny new, they're not rusty and gross, so you don't care, but just that middle, middle staple that's got a little bit of a dullness to it that you don't want to scratch up and show it being nice and new. And also you don't want to in, induce uh, spine ticks or bends in the spine by it when you take it out. Also, how to put it back in and keep everything nice and straight. And to do that, I employ the following devices. I'll show you here in a quick little video. I've got my, um, I have my the guts of my flawless staple remover. Here, what it looks like it's been xylan and Teflon coated, and it fits into this regular staple tool, which now has a magnet on the back of it. And then the the, the capable staple tool here, which I I make specifically for this purpose. So the comic book I want to use today is going to be uh, this Miss Marvel number uh, eight, which is really dirty. Here, I'm going to take this cover off and wash it in my washing machine later, clean it. But for now, I just wanted to demonstrate the staple part of it. I've been asked to create more small bite size uh, videos that are specific to a, a certain task, and this is going to satisfy that one. So Nolan, my videographer, is back. Well, my uh, I'm only in town for just a few hours, and I decided to get this video out really quickly. So. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you around. Take care, bye-bye. All right, so we're going to show you how to use the capable staple tool here on this old Miss Marvel array, which we need to take the, the cover off to clean this. We're going to put it in the washing machine, so it needs that. And the book is otherwise in okay shape, but it's got some stain here. And this, this one is a Bronze Age 1977 book, otherwise of little note I'm kind of looking through the pages here look this looks like Charles Bronson and what makes this one an ideal candidate for look, Miss Marvel that's so weird where was she holding this in her bikini where was she holding this outfit at it's like but um, maybe she spins around so this is an ideal one for for using this the flawless staple tool here and the uh, capable staple tool that accompanies it because this has a patina, so show show them that there, Nolan. This one has like a light patina on the stable. So it's kind of a little, it's not perfectly shiny new, but it's not rusty, so it's in good shape. So you don't want, I don't want to have it show scratches that are brighter where it's been uh, manipulated. So what I do is I take the capable staple tool, which has this little spot that's kind of etched out of the bottom of it, and I use it to line it up on the bottom tool here. I press down on it and then I use the other side to straighten it up. It's just that easy. But what this does, the reason I like to do this is because it's keeping pressure on the staple on the other side of the book. So it's not bending up and putting spine ticks into the book. Then I take the hole here for this and put that staple straight up, hold the capable staple tool there. And then I take this guy like that. And then I just rotate it up, start like this. I can now use my fingers on it and it should leave it with no marks and it does and then I can take either the side of this thing or I just take my fingers and I just push it from the inside out I, don't, I try not to put something between the staple and the book here so I just push this from the inside out and this guy comes right out here and I leave this one in for now just so I can keep everything lined up and then the, the staple tool itself will help me line up the holes again is it they're spaced right correctly so that I can now I might as well just do it right now. I've got this out here. I can state I can line these up so that the holes are aligned just right and these holes are engaged properly. And we do the same thing with the other one. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm gonna leave this on so I can keep uh, I'm not ready to clean it just yet, so I want to keep it aligned. And that's that's it. When I want to put the staple back in. You know, these, this alignment helps greatly in, in that process. So, you know, you just go back to the center of the book again. And that's a lot harder, of course, to get the, get the book back in. You just take this same staple here, and you don't really need the staple tool for that. But you just find the holes, and which is hard to do without your glasses on, especially. Oh, here they are. You force it through there, just like that. It's already lined up, see? And then it goes right through like this. I put my finger on the other side of it. Got that there. See that no one's got it poking up. And the having those lined up by the 
capable staple tool really helps greatly in, in doing this. And so what I like to do often is I'll hold one of them completely still so that I don't get them too crossed. And that, again, keeping this little line on the bottom of it really helps to keep it straight up and down. There we go. And I bend that guy in like that. And you can do the same on the other side by putting the, holding this guy still and bending that straight over like this. And then I've now replaced that staple and there are no marks on it. Go ahead and show it closely, Nolan, if you can, that it doesn't make any shiny spots that you would get with an uncoated capable or uncoated flawless staple tool because it has this Teflon Xylan coating on it. So that's, uh, that's how we use them. All right, thank you so much. Well, that's it. I should have mentioned that's just one of three methods I use depending on the staple and the, and the situation. If the staple needs to be curved, I have a little tool that comes with the, the capable staple tool, and that I'll save that for a video for that, that bends and, and makes it a nice natural curve. And there's another way where I fish the staples out from the inside around through back out the outside. It takes a little more delicate touch. Uh, so this is the beginner method of the, of the three different ways. So. I hope you liked the video, and I will see you around. Take care. Bye-bye.